Exactly, Fire Rat. That's where I'm at, my friend. All right. I don't think we need anything else with these people. I think we're good. All right. So where are the thieves? We're going to go find them. Actually, you know what? We're not good. I need to buy some food. Yeah. All right. Now that's enough food. Man, the food was so cheap there. Okay. Oh, perfect. So we fulfilled the ambition of getting 12 people. Having finally gathered the coin and equipment, you managed to assemble a full complement of 12 able fighters. When next you walk down Ivendorf's main street, the men break into a full-throated marching song. A few of the townsfolk mutter under their breath about dirty mercenaries taking over the town, but others walk alongside and shout the words with you. Stand tall, brothers. People can see this is a real mercenary company now, and we're not a handful of wandering vagabonds. I mean, we are. We're just, we're still vagabonds and we're wandering, but we're more than just a handful. Hella declares. Hey, Maxwell, good evening, my friend. Wow, that is impressive, Maxwell. I ha I have... I don't know if I've ever been able to only do one plate at a buffet. It's just something about the nature of it. Your discipline is esteemable. Uh, we trade in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, so will our price. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, wait a minute. This is what people were telling me about. You know how I'm, like, barely scraping by? Now that we're getting more reputation, we can actually make more money. The jobs will probably be harder, but you have to pay us more, so that's going to help. It appears he has the right of it. You notice one particularly fat nobleman sizing up the company as if he already has a task in mind. The complete incompetence are now a force to be reckoned with. Once the men have settled in for a celebratory drink, perhaps you should take another stroll through town to see if any more lucrative contracts may be available. That's awesome. I like that, Maxwell. That's a good, um, you know, goal that you've created for yourself. That would be something. So the company itself has gained renown, and then everybody except for Terror Kittens is, like, in a better mood. We're getting there. All right, fantastic. So we need to follow these footsteps. All right, I'm going to save it again. Heck yeah, Maxwell. That's the spirit, my friend. Keep it going. And that's ridiculously impressive. All right, I'm going to save it again under my, you know, bad idea. And we're going to explore these footprints. <laughs> yeah, I thought about doing Iron Man. I mean, you know, but for my first time, I decided against it. Uh, let's see. Go for him. Follow these tracks. Uh oh, there's there's some wild game out here. Ooh, there's some rocky outcroppings. All right, we don't want to fight these, whatever in God's name those things are. I want to slip under the rail. Oh my God, they're coming back! Stop. Let them go. They're weaving around. Oh no. Stop. Get these things out of here. I don't want an extra fight. Man, these these thieves have gone so far away. Yeah, I do that when I'm... I make a decision early on, Maxwell, if I want to play the game like a roguelike or just like a traditional game. And I heard this game was already hard. Um, and so I decided to save, but yeah, that's what I do in Stone Shard, and that's why I've never, you know, beaten it. But same thing with Caves of Cud. Like, you can play Tales of Magile, Caves of Cud, Stone Shard as pure-on RPG adventure games with save files, which I've never done. Or you can play them as roguelike and dial time like me. All right, here come the brigands. And let's see, there's a few raiders and a few thugs. So the raiders look like saltier dogs. Hopefully we don't lose. 
Okay, mercifully, there's only six of them, and there's 12 of us. But the problem is that these um, raiders, you can see they have, like, better equipment, but that's good for us. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, load up and see who can we hit. Who's the best chance to hit? This one right here is 59%. Yeah. Go there. Oh, man, we missed. Okay, thank you. Poachers, got to watch out for them. I feel you, Soul Reaper. I like to avoid it, if at all possible. I definitely don't. I had a buddy um, years ago when we... I used to work at a video game shop when I was an undergraduate. And uh, the buddy I worked with, we would talk about playing XCOM, the original UFO defense. And, like, I, you know beat the game but I wasn't great at it I didn't realize but he was like so obsessive about it in the sense that um, he would reload at any point if any of his troops ever got killed so that like by the time he got to the end of XCOM he had his entire original team and they were like all max level you know absolutely you know butt kicking uh, members of XCOM hey Oxytropus good evening Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean, Soul Reaper and Oxytropus. I was uh, reading you the wrong way. Um, you weren't saying that you don't have a problem saving and reloading. You're saying coming back to a save. I have that same problem, too. Like, if I haven't played a game in a month or something like that, I generally will just reboot. Like, I, it's so weird to come back into it. That happened to me with, uh, like, No Man's Sky. You know what I mean? I... Every time I come back to No Man's Sky, I have to start over again, and it's so brutal. Hey, Brinaldi, what's up, my friend? Thank you. We're going for him. All right, let's see if we can um, hit... I'm going to try to hit this raider who is in the front. My God, we've missed. All right, try it again. 61, 61, hit this one. Oh no, we're rolling badly today. Go for that aimed shot. Okay, we finally got a hit, but you see how thick their armor is. It's it's terrifying. All right, I can move uh, Kuro to here and not be threatened and then still reach out and try to hit with that pitchfork. We did not hit though. All right, so I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna wait. I'm just going to turtle as much as I can here. All right, let's see. Um, I am going to actually move down a little bit to get closer. Start building a... A situation where I might be able to move in and then, like send everybody on one unit I'm gonna put up the uh, spear wall wait uh, we can shield wall wait and oof I'm actually gonna wait with Alex I think um John is good. Good. Wait. Wait. And shield wall. Hey, hey, Ominous. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. All right. So now we're going to just wait again. And shield wall. And wait. I'm just going to keep keep this happening um i can actually just hit this guy i mean he came right up on me i'll try to knock him out hey man we missed i mean predictable all right round two. Oh my god that guy threw an axe 
Yep, it definitely got harder. It definitely got real. Oh boy, they jumped right up on our on our peeps. All right, we've got some problems. I didn't realize they could cut through the lines like that. I never would have stepped forward. That was a huge mistake on my part. All right, we did some damage there, though. Oh, my. Boy, they have... This is what's hard about this, is they just got to go before all of us right there. Uh, they really did a good job with their initiative. Man, my troops are blocking me at every step of the way, no matter who I try to hit. I can actually hit this guy. There you go. It was a problem that we missed with all of our shots the last time. But anyway. I'm going to try to pass and kill this dude. Because we can't fire with somebody adjacent. It says... Um, cannot be used because we're engaged in melee. So I have to wait with my archers. Oh no, you're not engaged in melee though. So can you aim at this guy? Yeah. Try to kill this dude. That was a very good shot. This guy is almost dead. All right. I need you to do round swing and hit both of these guys. Now, hopefully, it doesn't hit my own people. Oh, okay. It does hit your own people. Well, then, shame on that ability. Uh, all right. Oh, my God. Alex. Robinson, good evening. That head flew right off. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to pass with the archer. And I need you to... F yes, Robinson. I was like, nope, we can't do it. I, I want to get to a place where I can hit this one, but I just can't. I'm actually going to move all the way over here because this guy is trying to throw stuff. And see if I can just lash at this dude. Yes. I mean, this guy's almost dead. That guaranteed headshot is something else. All right. Do Grandia. Get him. There it is. Now the archers can shoot. Love it. Okay. Um, you can actually step in front of the archers to insulate them from that happening again. And this is scary up here, what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and try to lash this guy. Try to lash him again. Boy, he blocked it both times with his shield. Oh, no. We just missed. We just rolled badly. Okay. All right, uh. Got him. We really hit that guy. All right, I need to, uh. How much will this take? This will take a good amount of our AP, but um, it'll allow us to surround this dude. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to pass right there. Hopefully it comes back around, actually. Okay. All right, so I need an aim shot at this dude. No. Can we hit this guy? What about this one? All right, we got to kill this guy then. That is terrible. Just missing with our aim shots. All right, get that aim shot. Uh... Come on. Oh, man. Just rolling. No good. Missed way too many times right there. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He just killed somebody. Yeah, these guys are way harder. Kuro is dead. Oh, it's sad. All right. No messing around. Kill something. There it is. All right. Okay. 
Nice shot. All right. Um, that's right. Yeah, we're just making things a little cheaper. I like what. You <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Um, no. Why is it so hard to hit? Because they're too close? Distance of three? Oh, you hit him anyway. Almost killed this guy. Boy, this guy is tough. He will not go down. Look at this dude. He just, like, we hit him several times. All right, uh, let's see if we can finally put this guy down. There it is. All right, Alex, go over here. Get him. All right. Um, let's see, what are our options, actually? What is riposte, knockback? Um, nah, let's just hit him. Oh my, that was a very good hit. It knocked, look at this. Um, we hit him in the head scarf and we destroyed it and we'd hit their head and almost, almost destroyed them. I love what we're doing. All right, um, please kill this guy. Oh my God, hit him. There it is. Now finish this one. So good. There it is, right in the armor. Almost. Oh man. I love how this guy, he is fleeing. His, he is gonna try to run away. I was like, it looks like he's trying to stand in there. This guy thinks he's invincible. All right, sweet. The enemy retreats. It's over. Now you guys can tell me you're more experienced. I don't chase them down. Um, exactly, that armor has to be there. Ooh, crispy. I love it. I gotta try Wild Hearts, um, Kakuri Edition. I've never played it. Alright, loot. We got these bundle of throwing axes. And the, the padded leather that they were wearing. Ooh, this, um, look at this head armor. Oh my goodness, 110 health. Yes, this, this Morningstar is legit. Okay, Robinson, thank you. I should have chased him down then just for the extra treasure. Uh, let's collect our pay. It's awesome, loot. I'm pumped about it, except for the whole we lost Kuro. I'm running so low on supplies. I can't even repair my equipment. It's It's sad. Oh, interesting, Oxytropus. So I've got to been plan to like, I mean, you know how sinister that sounds? I'm actively planning when I fight them to keep their armor but kill them. You know, like you see our troops whispering like, don't hit his armor, kill him first. Wait, what? I'm going to be wearing that armor tomorrow. We are down to 85 gold. We can barely pay out our troops. We don't have enough tools and supplies left. It's getting real rough here, but we did it. Crowns well deserved. It makes sense, Oxytropus. All right. Well, goodness gracious. Let's take a look at our people. All right, so Saxon's a little hurt. Just a light wound, no problem. Um... Let me start giving people who are in the front row who have terrible gear. Let's just shore up that weakness. Do it like that. The people who are in the front who have terrible gear. Let's see who needs an armor upgrade. So this is 50. That's looking really bad. 90. 50. Oh, Alex leveled up again. Heck yeah. Melee, hit points, you know it. Alex's initiative is terrible. Yeah, boost the initiative. All right, great. Perks. 
All right, what can we get, Alex? Executioner. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, bullseye. No. Dodge. Gain 15% of the character's current initiative as a bonus to melee and range defense. That's pretty sweet. Um... Interesting. Wow. So Gifted just gives you a level up with maximum rolls, but doesn't give you a talent point. That's interesting. I like it. I'm really thinking about uh, taking Dodge just for sustain. So, like, our current initiative with this character is... Um, 82. So 15% of that, you know, is like 9 points that would go to our ability to dodge. It's pretty good. It doesn't help us kill things faster, which I'm not thrilled about. Like, Executioner does that, but Alex seems to just be chopping people's heads off. So, less important. Yeah, I'm going to try this out. Let's just see what happens. I thought I was wondering why my initiative wasn't at full Robinson. Thank you for explaining that. So it's because they're fatigued, so they're tired. Okay. All right, let's level up do do Grandia here. Um, and, mm, let's see, well, you roll well for initiative, you roll well for fatigue, and I'm still going to take this, just because I, I have to hit, all right, and then, uh, take the, take the hit points, for the love of God, man, all right, fantastic, all right, let's go back to the stash screen. And let's see who else has got bad stuff up here. I think that this is 70, 65. So these two 50s are the worst. Yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and switch the armor here. And you can... Um, I didn't know they could switch weapons, so this might be good to give to somebody. Uh, you're going to wear that hat instead. Just make yourself a bit stronger. Alright. And... I think, like, what if I was over here and I just said, can you... Like, put this down here? Yeah. So, maybe Saxon can, like, switch to this. Or whoever is the best ranged attacker on my front line. Oh, it's actually Jack Meadows. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these out. And then Jack is the best, so he can switch maybe to this in combat. And use some throwing axes. This Morningstar is an improvement for somebody. You're using this, you know which is awful. Yeah, use this instead. Much better. Okay. All right, I'd like to hire somebody else, but we just don't have the cash. I mean, I need to buy... Um, God, these tools and supplies are so expensive. Uh, do they have a run on tools right now? Man, I cannot believe how costly these are. Yeah, they're 303 over the normal price. Yeah, that's what I plan I should do. Start them with throwing so I can remember who has them. All right, let's go ahead and sell some stuff.
better. I, I just can't buy these tools here. They're just too expensive. I'll see if somebody else has tools. The bread is amazing for how cheap it is. Their tools are pricey. It's like, whoa. Um, during camp. Oh, we need to set a new ambition. You feel good today. Ready to lead to complete incompetence through any challenge to come. You're darn right we are. You gather the men around, kicking Oliver to his feet and telling Manto to finish scraping away the hairs on his neck later. What do we need to do? Um, we need to spread word about the company. Uh, we can set out into the wilderness and plunder it. All right. Or we could make a standard. I don't have enough money for that. Now, I'm fine with trying to plunder something. I like the idea of it. Uh, discover a ruin or a hostile camp and plunder it. You know, I did find a ruin before, but when I tried to go explore it, you know, nothing really happened. Um, oh. Along the road, while on the march, I was actually in town, not moving, you come across a line of stopped wagons. You realize the wagons are cages, with each serving a prison to a wild animal. Touring the line of carts, you come to face a variety of beasts. A haunched and mewling black cat launches its man-killer claws. Oh, somebody was telling me that buying animals is really good. Um, that I need to do that. So I should actually look for a town that has animals to hire. I think somebody said that. Um, the man leans back from behind one of the wagons. He's got a wild look on his face. As though you just caught him getting off the wrist. Um, getting one off the wrist. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? You inform the stranger that you're the captain of the complete incompetence. The man straightens up. Oh, sell swords then. And I thought my luck had up and run off with me. Look, I got a problem that my hired hands refused to help with. They didn't care when they didn't know better, but the damn cloak fell off the wagon and then just wouldn't shut up about how I wasn't paying them enough to transport such goods. What do you need help with? Oh my. The animal tamer leads you to a carriage. You immediately see why. His hired hands quit. A frenzied and mercurial wild man is sitting inside the cage. Raw wrist bleed against his shackles. Signs of attempted escapes. Half starved, the wild man gnaws on sticks poking out from a tumbleweed of a beard. Seeing this sad sight, you grab the stranger by his shirt and slam him against the wagon. Does that look like an animal to you? The animal tamer grins, ivory for teeth. He explains himself. City folk have gotten wind of the uncivilized wild man and wish to see him up close. I am only fulfilling this new demand as any businessman would. Now all I need is help to get that um, dead body out of the cage. He points toward the corpse in the corner of the cage. The wild man rears back snarling and goes to protectively sit on the body. The animal tamer shakes his head. One of my helpers got too close and well, yeah. I can't go into town with that mess in there, so I thought maybe you could help me fish it out. I'll pay plenty, of course. A pouch of 250 crowns sound good to you? Just reach on in there and yank the garbage out. So I can send somebody in, or I can put somebody at risk. That's a lot of money. But do you see this guy's face? I don't want to risk losing one of my beautiful troops for this wild man. Um, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, don't blame you. You're smarter than you look. Thanks. All right. Um, so we need to discover a hostile camp and we need to do that quickly because we're running low. Let's check our, uh, we have some injuries. So if we wait for a day, they should recover. Now it says discover a ruins. Um, no, no, I don't want to cancel the ambition. I'm just trying to figure out how we find a ruin like this looks like this is a long lost keep all right that's something workshop wooden watchtower this is an orchard i mean we could go back over here to check out this keep but i don't know how hard it's gonna be oh that's interesting Hey, Necronth. 
How's it going, my friend? Good to see you. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well. All right, we're going to save it on bad idea. And we're going in. Bad idea. Our equipment is broken. But our spirits aren't. Actually, I'm going to go to uh, Jack Meadows and just kind of have him equip this for now. The game is going great, Necronth. We, we've lost a few people. I can't admit that we haven't had some setbacks, but we're trying our hardest to make everyone everywhere know about the complete incompetence. A band of cell swords. I don't even know what those are, but they just don't seem like something I want to mess with. I'm not great at them either. Um, Necronth. You can't make out who you'll be facing. Attack at your own peril and be prepared to retreat if need be. This is why I saved the game. So engage. What is this? 